Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Marcus on PC Discussions coming at you with a video replay today. It's going to be the jankiest video of Dragon Ball replays I've ever seen in your life because I'm recording it on a camera, not on the laptop itself, because my laptop actually runs the game super slowly. Uh, I'm probably going to see this when I push play, but this is a really good game that I had uh, playing Brawly against Gohan. And it just goes to show that you don't need to play Gohan um, to be to beat Gohan, and you don't need to uh, play Gohan to be like really strong in the meta. Um, I don't want really to jinx myself, but I'm currently undefeated with Brawly. Um, Brawly kind of feels like the perfect deck for me right now in the meta. Um, it's between probably Brawly or Frieza that I'm gonna be playing in IRL, um, or I, I may try Vegeta list because the Lo recent Los Fiends video has kind of got me convinced that Vegeta can be kind of good. Uh, you just need the right pieces around the deck. So, um, I'll end up uh, going through and finding a list, uh, finding the list that I currently play, but I just want to showcase this because I think this is kind of like a really strong game in general. Um, so, we got to go second here, which is somewhat huge, but what's more important about this is how I ended up actually playing um, the early game. And a, a lot of times people don't really um, understand that how you play against green in the early game is like super important. Um, there's just honestly too much value that you can generate in the late game from the big cards that are going to hit you. Um, and Basically, it, it doesn't really matter, per se, like, that, um, it doesn't really matter, per se, that you necessarily get into Awakening with Brawly, because the whole idea with Green is to just fend off as long as you can so you can get to your big bombs, um, and then Green basically then comes down to once you get to the big bombs, if one person's not in a really bad position, because they didn't see any other ramp or something else, uh, you then just drop Brawly after Brawly after Brawly or Gohan after Brawly and then you end up toppling them um, and, it, and it can feel pretty bad. Um, now here uh, we go into the auto charge with the destructive strength, sacking the energy marker because we have the Vegeta in hand already. Uh, super important to also know your ramp lines. As you can see, I have two forms of ramp, both at four and five. Um, and one thing that you're also going to note, um, be able to notice here in the matchup is that he takes this hit right here and I'm like, okay, so now he's down to six life. Um, he's probably going to try to commit to a form of ramp. And if I protect, um, my board, then that, uh, protect my life. I'm sorry, rather my board. Um, then he's going to be kind of in an awkward position. Um, next turn, he can also do the same thing, right? He can just not take the damage, but with the trunks on the board now that he's played to get his secure his ramp, I believe, um, or something like that. I forget what the trunks is. I think I actually take a look at it at some point, uh, but I ended up playing this Vegeta down um, one to get the ramp to go to five, so we're properly on curve. The next turn, we're also going to get the curve again to go from five to six, and then um, if our opponent awakens us, that means we're gonna go to seven and then the next charge will be eight, the, so two turns from now. So our curve line is really good here. Uh, as you can see, they defended, um, which is exactly what we want them to do. Um, uh, we wanted them to use that. Now I expected my opponent here to block and then use the um, Gohan here to combo to save his blocker, but he kind of refused to do that. And I was like, Okay, that makes no sense, but um, good on you. Now, again, we're going to repeat exactly what we did last turn. If our opponent here swings and only goes to swings base 15, no reason for us to take the damage. Why is this super important? Because when we start trading brawlies, the person who has more life in the end basically wins the game. Like, if you trade life for life for life for life for life, um... Uh, you can just out advantage your opponent in resources. Um, now, here I have a rather interesting play I can do. So I, I play down the five drop and I have Big Bang Attack in my hand. And instead of playing a cantrip, I activate Big Bang Attack so I can kill his son Goku. 
definitely the right play here to do if you have the ability to. So not only did I get to ramp this turn, but I took Gohan's main piece of being able to constantly, and I mean constantly, be able to use that free 15k on their backside. Uh, I swung at Lee, draw, draw a super combo. They spend their last resource on board to block my Brawly attack, which is what I want. Because now this Vegeta is actually going to be able to swing in and either cost them another 10k in hand, or, which it does, or uh, they're going to take a damage. And again, they're going to be behind in the matchup. Um, now, here with, uh, with what my opponent has currently on the board, I decide that it would be best um, for me to uh, just pass there, not swing the 25, give him something to swing at and potentially combo. Um, I decide to take the damage here, no reason to combo the 5k, and I get my second Brawly, which is insane. Now, as you can see here, I'm at 7 energy. Um, which is a very big problem for my opponent playing this secret rare because this is where the brawly play lines start happening and as you're about to see here um, I draw another super combo which is just absolutely sacky but um, as you can see here uh, I get to play brawly pop the secret rare draw a card and then now it gets really really tough because this next brawly swing for 15 is something he doesn't want to take because if he does he then has to basically take the next 245s or spend a combo so I got a free card out of his hand now I'm gonna give him two more cards because it's a race here so he's at seven energy so he can play his Raleigh next turn so I'm gonna get maximum value out of my Brawleys just by swinging both of them right um, no point into not doing that and then again we're gonna swing knock them to four uh, basically say you're welcome to awaken on your next turn do what you're gonna do I'm still at six life okay so imagine this if every single turn we play Brawly and I played Brawly then he played Brawly then I played Brawly basically what it's gonna come down to is the fact that uh, he is at now two less life more than I am every time and I'm up because I got to Brawly first um, this is because we ramped on curve very well and simultaneously, I think we play this a little bit stronger in the early game, just slight. It was just slightly a couple combo outs um, really put us in the driver's seat of this game. Um, now, this this is a um, very interesting position um, because, again, we don't want to just take this Gohan hit. Um, I basically combo out here. And the reason is, is because I'm going to take these next 245s guaranteed. And he is forced to put me in awakening range. If my opponent does not put me in awakening range here, it would be the most colossal mistake ever. Like, if he tries to stall me at five here, he's just losing the game. Um, one, I'll have more life for the Brawly trades. Uh, but number two, uh, I'll have more energy to defend myself against bigger attacks when I go to awaken. On top of that, his Brawly will die to my Brawly. So it won't stick around. I draw another Brawly, which is just insane. So again, we're going on curve. Um, this is kind of the God game to, uh, if I'm gonna be honest with you, at, at the end of this, you're gonna realize this is in fact the God game against Gohan. Uh, but the, it's really important that you see what I did along the way um, because sequencing correctly is just going to be the way that you get to uh, maximize uh, the potential of your deck. And uh, now, now that we've awakened, we are at 10 energy, which is absolutely colossal. Um, our opponent is completely on the back foot here. I mean, it's 10, 10 energy to seven. Um, he spent uh, a 15K uh, uh, on the uh, Brawly swing so that he doesn't take it. Now, I, I want you also to understand something uh, really important here. Um, because he just went down to seven, that means he can play Brawly again next turn. However, if I hadn't got rid of that five drop Goku with the Big Bang attack, it would be really problematic for me right now. And um, my opponent top decked into Brawly, so he's got some top deck luck of his own. He ends up popping our, um, our Brawly. And then now I have this one energy open, okay? And I am in a position to not take anything. My leader's 25, he's 20, so he's gonna have to commit a card. 
This is one of the reasons why I truly believe that Brawly is honestly one of the strongest leaders in the game. Um, because I'm not forced to take anything. And I'll gladly super combo out of this hit because the 45s are what matter. Now what's super... Now what's interesting here is I kind of have a decision to make on this attack. And I'm just going to pause the video real quick if I can. So... Um, Right now, my opponent is swinging for 45. You can see that I'm getting ready to use Gigantic Meteor. So the question is, is do I take any one of these swings? If I can avoid it, the correct answer is no. Um, this 45 swing with that one energy open was telegraphed that I had the Meteor in the hand. He needed to combo a card here and he didn't. Um, even a 5K and I can't really see, I'm, but he has combo power for days. He has a 5K right here, another 5K. Um, uh, right here. So he needs to combo these 5Ks here, uh, just in case you're wondering what he could have done a little bit better. Uh, the reason is, is because that one energy open basically is this 45 negated. Um, and you got to remember that in the green matchup. This being a 25K swing and him being a 25K base leader means this gets to 50K. This 45 is not guaranteed damage at all as long as there's an energy open. So he, he really messed up here. He needed to combo at least one card. Um, and again, this is also going to make it very easy for me to not take this next attack. And my opponent is at two life, which means this Brawly that can come down here is going to be absolutely massive and you're gonna see what I'm gonna do. So I basically end up gigantic meteoring um, and uh, say, nope, absolutely not. Uh, we're not taking that damage. And, um, and then here I debate on whether or not I should take this next one and I decide to not do that. Um, and I combo out, I use a super combo, go to 45 and then spend a 5k, go to 50. Um, and now again, we are in the driver's seat. So I have Brawly to pop his Brawly and, um, you know, it's just, this is just backbreaking if you're the uh, Gohan player at this point. Because now you're at two life, you have to fend off whatever I want. I get to free pop your card. Um, because I have 11 energy, I'm easily going to rest to uh, sack one of my energy to draw a card. I mean, it's just getting insane at this point. Um, and now I have a plethora of options. I get to, um, I get to activate a uh, little Gohan here, get to draw a 10k. And then now we're just swinging for the fences on our opponent, right? Uh, costing them two cards out of hand, a 10 and a 5, just to stop this one. Why does he want to do that? Because the 45k is coming. And here we swing, and I believe I end up comboing with the Gohan. I do. Uh, 50k is massive. Um, this forces him to basically sack an energy uh, or spend um, a super combo or two. And I think he does. He ends up spending two there. Um, and then again, we're going to knock him to one, um, and we're going to leave two up, fainting two gigantic meteors. But at this point, the game is completely out of reach for Gohan. It doesn't even matter if he has a um, Brawly, which he doesn't. Um, but the reason why it doesn't is uh, very simple. Um, he... He could have a Brawly here, and we're still not in danger of dying, okay? I have Gigantic Meteor. I have two of the Cells Kamehameha's, so we're not going to die. Inversely, if I go to one here and he doesn't kill me, the uh, Brawly, uh, and he basically has to have a Brawly here to pop my Brawly, but because he doesn't have a Brawly, um, it's basically going to screw him. He's at seven energy as well. Um, which means he can't even play one at this point now that I'm actually talking about it. I couldn't remember if this is where he was at seven or what, but, um, and now we can free combo out of anything. This first attack is massive to take. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm going to pause real quick. So, um, this first attack that he did, um, it was really important that I did not counter out of, uh, that I did not counter, that I did not take this damage. Okay. Um, which is another reason why I wanted to uh, show this video to you guys, uh, despite the fact that I uh, draw just the God Hand. Um, the reason why you can't take this damage here while he had uh, seven energy, or uh, it's eight now because of the turret list, but seven energy in general. Um, the reason why we could not have taken this damage is because if he had the Android 17 or 18, which I don't believe he does, 
Um, if he had Android 17 or 18 in hand, um, and then a bunch of these cell Kamehameha's and one gigantic meteor, uh, and all of the 10 Ks potentially in his hand, which is a lot of 10 Ks, as you can see here, we would have been in a world of trouble. Um, so defending at this three life was super pivotal while he was at six, because the only telegraph play he can have here is the droids. Um, I'm sorry, while he's at seven energy is the droids and a gigantic meteor into like a free extra combo into like other hot nonsense of combo. So again, super important. I dropped everything that I did out of my hand. I think I meteored and then comboed something else. I comboed another couple cards just to get out of the attack. And now we, he is in a horrible position. Uh, the fact that he plays this five drop is basically the writing on the wall that the game is over. Uh, he has no response to this. Um, this is not going to be able to kill this no matter how much he tries. Uh, this is 45. I can get up to 90, I believe. So 15, 25, 30, 35, 45 on top of 45 is 90 combo. He would have to dump his entire hand. Uh, this is 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, or spend the 15 here just to get, just to get over. He'd basically have to, actually, that would be the whole hand, what, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70? Yeah, so he, all but one card in his hand would have to go just to kill this thing, and then I kill him on the crackback. So if I can save the Brawly, I will. If I can't, I let it die and then uh, basically kill him. Um, kill him on the crackback with all this combo power, plus the five from my leader, whatever I draw for turn and whatever I draw off my leader. So that's just super important to note. Um, so uh, like I said, this is the writing on the wall. Um, he's basically in a folding position. Um, and... Uh, he combos here immensely. Um, he dumps everything he can into this. Uh, gets up to 85. And like I said, I have 90. Exactly. Um, we go 15 up. We go to 60. And then we go 70, 80, 90. Um, and the reason why we protect the Brawly here, if we can, it's guaranteed game. He cannot defend at one life with three cards in hand. Um, even with three cards and one of them being a blocker, which it is. Uh, there's still absolutely no hope, okay? Uh, one of those 45 swings is going to get eaten, and then I top deck the Brawly and bad manner him um, and just pop his blocker. And I also played it because it's the only game that I'll ever be able to say that I played for Brawlies against Gohan and won. Uh, but he auto-scooped up immediately. Uh, you have to at this point. There's just absolutely no point. And even considering... Um, um, and even considering looking at trying to play the rest of that out. Uh, it was already over with the one Brawly on the board, but it's certainly gonna be over with the second one. Uh, getting draw a card, pop his blocker, uh, 345, 445K swings and a 30. Yeah, that ain't it, fam. Um, we're gonna try to get back to the replay menu, see if we can't get the yellow game. It's gonna take a minute to load, because like I said, everything from my computer loads super slow. If you can see it up here, I'm not sure if you can. It says it's not responding, which is kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, it, it will respond eventually. And if not, we can, uh, I'll just boot it back up and, uh, we'll end the video and we'll talk about the list when, when we can get into it. But, um, yeah, uh, that's, uh, pretty much how you play against Gohan. Um, and I'll probably, if, if this doesn't load, I'll, I'll probably actually just end it here, bring the list and then talk about a yellow, uh, I have a yellow replay that I want to show you guys that's like super good. Um, oh, there it goes. I think we're in business. Like I said, my sim loads super slow on my computer. My computer's ancient. My wife bought it back for me in 2011. This is going on 13 years. Need to get me a, a new computer. Uh, but it's been completely wiped like five times. So there's no viruses or anything on it. It's just, I think, old processors, old. It's on its last legs. But it's been good to me throughout the years. Um, but yeah. Um, but yeah, as you can clearly tell, um, green, green Gohan versus Brawly, 
Uh, Brawley is definitely favored a little bit. Um, there we go. We're connecting. Um, Brawley's a little bit favored when he gets to awaken. Um, uh, go to uh, battle records. I think that's the, the record we just looked at. So we're going to go back to our battle record. Um, and then uh, that was this guy. Uh, 12 turns here. Uh, we're going to go to the details. We're going to try to replay playback. Um, hopefully this one goes through. Um, but I really wanted to bring you guys some sim gameplay because I know that you guys have been kind of like asking me, hey, can you show me playing you playing on the sim or whatever? Um, this one, we're going to let it go straight through um, just to get it over as fast as possible because I don't want to lose memory on my, my phone. Not that I'm out of, uh, close to out of memory, but sometimes the phone just likes to be interrupted for some reason. So, um, But um, all I have to say, um, we have a really good matchup into the Gohan uh, going to what I was talking about. If you can fend off that early life while ramping correctly on curve, uh, you basically decimate your opponent. Um, and then I'll show you the Brawley list that I'm currently playing. A lot of it is inspired uh, by um, Andrew Duvall's list. Um, I trust Andrew Duvall in this game as a fellow top player of Masters. I, uh, at least in my area, I'm a top player in Masters. Um, I really feel that um, I can really trust what you know his opinion is on Brawley as a, as a deck. Um, I feel it's also very well positioned against Ginyu, which is the best deck in the game. Um, yeah, and um, I think that uh, overall, oh, here we go. Uh, I think overall, uh, his list was really, really strong to start as a, a starting point. Um, and I think that Brawly, I, I think the reason why I'm going to play and main Brawly pretty much um, until he's not relevant is so that I don't auto die to Ginyu like right away. Um, but the Ginyu matchup is super hard and uh, you'll see exactly why in this replay, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to show you um, again, a game against yellow. Um, so uh, starting the game off, uh, what are we looking to mulligan for? Um, we need ramp and none of this is ramp um, besides the five drops. So we're just going to go back uh, this hand is incredible. We have um, our Brawly here. Uh, we have our A-drop, our free charge for the turn. Uh, they even get to go um, go second. So we'll charge. We have nothing to play. We pass. Um, but this right here is what's important, okay? This card right here in the matchup is broken. Uh, because we have to go first, that means we'll ramp to four, go to five. If he's hyper aggressive, we'll get to awaken relatively early. Um, and again, here, we don't want to defend anything. We don't have any cantrips to defend. So we're going to take this damage as we should. Um, so Frieza is going to attack. It is what it is. But a ming, but a boom. Ow. We take it. Yeah, as you can see, it's very not clear. It's very kind of laggy. Oh, it might have froze. It's got to load. It's got to take a second to catch up. Yep, there it goes. Um, <laughs> probably going to be the worst recording ever uh, that you guys ever have. That's funny. Um, but uh, here, uh, we swing. We draw our SCR. Now, I play the SCR in Brawley, um, and it is for yellow and red. This card is about to get the most value you're ever going to see it get in any game. And because we're Brawley, we actually get to this card on time. Um, which is one of the reasons why I'm playing this at two. I'm possibly going to play this at three. I might drop one of my 17, 18s down for one of uh, one more of this card. Uh, it's the same combo, uh, but it's just a lot stronger against yellow because yellow is going to go super wide as they do. Um, here, our opponent is forced to self-awaken off this effect, which we are okay with doing. It's also worth noting that Freeze is at six here. This is going to be kind of awkward. Do you block for free here or do you not? I don't know. Um, if if I'm Frieza in this position, I'm definitely free blocking with this if I swing only 15, um, which I think is going to be a mistake that he does not do here. This card as a blocker serves no purpose if you don't use it as a blocker. 
I've used all my energy here. As you can see, I've got zero four, which means there's no play coming to pop this card. You, If you're Frieza here, you free block this and then use your own self awakening uh, to get you where you need to be. Now I do knock him in five and on this turn here at four energy, because he has the energy marker, he's going to be able to play the raccoon play into the Ginyu and to take a life and to go into yada, 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 yada. Um, but he's free swings for me at five here. Now I know what he wants to do. Um, so there's two things. I will actually pause here if I can. So he ends up playing the Ginyu, but it's very important to note here that um, if I don't combo that Gohan or Goku, whichever it was, uh, here to stop this Frieza swing, he could play the two drop Frieza to rest and KO my card for two of his uh, energy, then play Ginyu, untap two, then play Burner. So then like, I basically have to take extra swings this turn that I don't have. Uh, that I don't I, that that I also don't really have cards in in um, in hand for. We have uh, five, uh, fifteen, so twenty k combo right now because we have no energy up for all these gigantic meteors. Our auto charge next turn is going to be this because it's completely dead in our hand. So not taking that Frieza swing is massive um, because now it puts him in a really funky position. Now a lot of thing, a lot of the strategy, and I'm going to tell you this does not work against Brawly. A lot of strategies uh, that people use against Brawly is to basically keep them at five so you can double strike them down to two and then make them go to, um, uh, uh, sorry, double strike them to three and then knock them uh, to two off the awakening. Depending on where Brawly is in the game, that crap doesn't matter. Um, and this game is a perfect game to uh, showcase that. You're gonna see him get a free value swing here, uh, which he does. Uh, but, I mean, just look at this board. This board is getting out of hand. I mean, this is the power of yellow. He still has two more energy open. And, like, by God, it's just uh, it's just oppressive. Now, here, um, he's going to swing with the Ginyu, which he should. Um, and he rests this and um, for the draw, and then he swung with this. Now, I know exactly. And then we get another destructive strength. I mean, it just could not be any worse. So he passes, untaps his draw card, and untaps his Ginyu, which tells me that he wants to keep me at five, telegraphing that next turn at five energy, he's gonna play Golden Frieza. Here it's important that I play the Turles, even though he's combo in hand. Uh, swing for critical, maybe get a block or a card out of his hand, uh, which he doesn't want to block, he just wants to combo uh, cards off the board. Um, and then a 10k, so he combos uh, one 10k out of hand, go to 30, and then combos off survey, which is fine with us. Uh, we're also going to just swing, get this draw, which is really important. It's also important that I do not play either of these. Okay, it's important that I don't play either of these here. So, um, pausing the game again. So, just to explain, he's going to play Golden Freeze the next turn. That's his goal. Strike me down to three so that I wake and go to two. And then he plays another Golden Freeze the following turn. And then hand dumps this. Um, and just to show you that I'm completely correct. Uh, right there. Boom. There it is. Both of them. Okay, I didn't, that, I haven't even, I mean, obviously I played the game so I knew what they were going to do. Uh, but obviously this is strategy against Brawly, and I assume he has two. So that the game plan set out before him, right? So um, it is super imperative that when I play this tour list that I do not tap this final to play a cantrip. If you do that here, it's a death sentence. Okay, again, our combo power is this, these two, and then uh, what would have been this tour list. Now with Gigantic Meteor and being at six energy, it's a completely different ball game, right? Now we're playing the game of this card getting immense value um, and, and showing off in, in, in what is going to be extremely crucial to what he wants to do here. He does not want to hit me to four. If he can avoid it, he wants to hit me to four. And I mean, just look at this board. This is getting insane. And so um, he starts to combo here. Uh, he keeps uh, my turtles tap down. He combos here, combos in hand, goes to 45 double. And then this one gigantic meteor is going to get me to 40, which is uh, insane. And then we got the two Gohans here. We don't need to sack any energy. Absolutely perfect. Okay. It was so imperative. I kept that one up. 
I, if I didn't, uh, we would have had to take this double strike or sack an energy to not take it. And that is just not what we wanted to do at all. Um, he's going to swing free into here. Um, if he comboed up to this, we have we would have had to let it go. Uh, again, we have no combo power. Uh, but the tide of this game is about to be turned. I'm about to go to seven. Uh, we have our free discard right here for the Gohan. And this secret rare is one of the reasons why we play this. Again, um, I talked about this and then we draw Brawly. I mean... Um, I need to just, I just need to explain, um, this strategy of knocking me down to, uh, whatever, if I ramp on curve correctly, like I have this entire game, this strategy does not work. These cards should have turned sideways. Okay. Um, and I'll explain why, uh, what value did they get? Zero. These cards, basically this card swung. These two have just sat there. This card could have even blocked an attack and it didn't even do that. It could have blocked a critical, not costed him any cards in hand and just died itself. It didn't do that. This card has an attack. This card has drawn a card. He had his two sorbets. I mean, what did these cards do? Absolutely nothing. Even this card. This card tapped a Turles. I don't care. This 50k Gohan is about to come in absolutely clutch and wipe the board. And it's really important that, like, the more time Brawly has, the worse it gets for you. So there's, like, a point that was, like, last turn at least these cards need to start turning sideways, okay? You're not getting any damage and value out of them. It's not a good look, okay? So ju just to show you, and then this is the punish, right? I mean, this is just maximum punish. You can't afford to lose all this value and have it not do anything. That's five cards gone, bro. Now the one guy drew, that's okay, okay. But like, now I'm gonna go to six, um, draw a card, and again, I'm saying, the only play you have here, the only play he has up here is another Golden Frieza to strike me down. And then it doesn't matter. I mean, look at this hand. This hand's insane. Um, uh, I got a super combo. So even if he does double strike me down here, which I believe he's going to combo so that I'm forced to. Um, he goes to 35. Um, he combos, I believe, 10 here, um, which is appropriate. Um, oh, actually, he just leaves at 35. We can't combo out at all without uh, ruining the 8-drop play. So that's perfectly fine. Super combo on 5 would have been good. Um, but it's, you know, uh, tedious at best. He has no reason to swing into my leader here. And I have no reason also to awaken here. This is also something that's super important. Pause again. There's no point in awakening with this card here. I'm going to get to swing, draw, and then sack another energy on my following turn and draw again. So there's no reason, him not attacking my leader, there's a mistake. The fact that he just swung into this to draw a card and not try to give me something else, not force me to awaken to go to two, which is the whole point of him doing this in the first place, plus a mistake. Because now I get to awaken and draw another card, and then I'm going to draw another card, uh, swing, draw a card, awaken, force a card, and draw a card. So this is just maximum value that we're going to get here at this point, playing Brawly. Um, this card does not matter. We're at eight of nine energy. Uh, we are not even going to bother turning anything sideways toward this card. Uh, if he wants to protect that 25k, let him. This Brawly is going to come down, pop that card instantly. Uh, we draw the Big Bang attack. Even if we had an energy, it would be busted. Uh, but it's not, and then now, now the game's completely out of reach, right? He got board wiped the turn before. His 5-drop freezer is completely and utterly uh, stuck in the cold. Um, and then it's been thawed out and cooked by this Brawly. Um, and then we're going to swing again, 45, and then 50. And my opponent here is digging for another Golden Frieza. I knew that's what he was doing. I also thought about not swinging here at all and not giving him another card to kill me. But then I realized it actually doesn't matter uh, that I do this. Not, not because if he doesn't get, if he get, gets the uh, Golden Frieza here, it might be a problem because he'd be at six energy. He could then play like, um, you know, Supernova 55 um, and then just hand dump all these cards into it. But then I realized something. Um, first off, our hand is pretty good here. Um, so we have a super combo, a Kamehameha, a Kamehameha. So that right there is 40, uh, 45, uh, uh, 45, 75, 85, 95. So he'd have to just absolute hand dump the nuts 
And I put him in a position where if he has it, he basically has it. But he has to he has to have the supernova. Like he has to have supernova here. He also can't he can't not go for the board. If he doesn't go for the board, he, he loses. Um, so yeah, maybe maybe not swinging interface here. That might be a, a, a slight error because I gave, basically gave him three more cards in a position where I didn't need to. But again, he's gonna have to have the five drop only. Two of them are gone. He'd have to have the third. He has drawn a lot of cards. There's 21 cards in his deck. He's at his last life. So um, let's take a peek at his hand just to see what it is. And there is no five drop Frieza in here at all. He draws super combo. Um, and now it gets super weird. He plays the cooler. I'm like, okay, cooler swing. And then I get what he wants to do here. He's basically going to try and force hand dump um, into one and then uh, tell me to uh, go there. Uh, we're going to go super combo and then go over. And again, we still had 30 more combo power here. Um, you know, 35, 45, 55, I, I mean, the game's just out of reach. Let's count the combo power in here. We've got 10, uh, I don't know what star bar is, it's five. I think that's five, five. So lots of fives. He does have the supernova though, uh, right here at the end. Uh, so five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 40, 50, 70. So yeah, he could have got it if he had the double strike freezer, but he um he he didn't have it. So um it could have ended badly for us if I but I'm like I couldn't not play the Brawly here. Um and I'm not really sure uh there's another way to play it other than not attack and give him potentially more chances to get the card. I think we have to pop the Frieza. We have to play the eight drop. Um and the only thing is, is we could just not give him more chances and more combo. And then maybe on the next turn, play another Brawly. And then for sure, wipe him out. There's no shot that he'll be able to, to defend. But also bear in mind that even if he has Supernova and the five drop already, like the third five drop, we still may not win the game. So maybe just going for it was correct in the end. And uh, there's uh, nothing really for him to do. Uh, so we, we kind of banked and risked it on that one. Um, but that's to demonstrate the yellow matchup. Why it's also really important for you as a yellow player to get the value out of your cards. If you don't get the value out of your cards, you're going to be losing. And when you, uh, because Brawly as uh, Brawly androids, um, and Gohan have the ability to board wipe and basically put you in a terrible position. It's not something that you want to really do. Um, and it, it, it's not something, it's again, it's just not a position that you want to be in. You don't want to be having all these cards sit on the board, do nothing. And you should just basically expect if your opponent gets the seven, the board's toast. Um, another thing that's super impactful, um, and I didn't have it, I don't, I have it at the, the go hunt at one, but there's something else to really note here. The 17 18 duo combo against anything yellow right now. It, the six drop zero cost double strike card that KOs a three two three drops or less is broken. It would have been insane in that situation, even if it wasn't Gohan, simply because like I get a, rid of a blocker, the Ginyu, um, and if there's anything rested, I get to swing at it. And um, Frieza's a little bit better with that because he gets to stand his cards. Uh, but all that to say, at the end of the day. Uh, that's not what ended up happening. We had the Gohan, and my opponent got completely punished. Lost the five drop and three or four 20k cards, and a Sorbet and a Vegeta, and that's just not the position you want to be in. Like you have, you basically have to hard um, have the the for sure guarantee follow ups for all the wins, and uh, just handle your business correctly. You can't be risking. Uh, your game on not using those cards just to have them all thrown down the drain for no value. Um, and again, I just point out that, that those cards got absolutely no value, right? They didn't swing. They didn't block. I mean, that blocker basically might as well have been uh, a, a free 10K combo. I mean, he didn't combo with any of them. I mean, comboing them would have been more value um, in putting pressure on my life 
over what they did do. So um, enough harping on the Gohan White being way too good. Um, uh, it's finally connecting and loading. Like I said, my, my client takes forever because of how old my laptop is. Um, but that's going to be the end of the replays that I want to show you guys. I'll show you the deck list just so that you guys can take a look at it for yourselves. Um, I personally, um, really enjoy, um, the deck. Um, oh, I hope that's not going to try and put me in a game. Oops. Oops. I might have clicked the wrong spot. I probably should have clicked back. Oops. Anyway. Um, if not, I'll take a picture of it and set it as a thumbnail. If, uh, if there isn't a, um, if it's going to try to connect me to a game, which I really hope it doesn't try to connect me to a game. Oh, nope, it didn't. Awesome. There it goes. Um... Uh, we will edit this. I have Zoraku set over there. Uh, Zoraku is a, a very bad deck, by the way. I would not be playing Zoraku if I were you. If you're going to play a red deck, you need to play Beerus. Um, I think Zoraku, like, does some, like, good things, but I, I just, I don't think that it's very strong right now into Brawly.